Fight Night Champion was released in April of 2010. That is 13 years ago at this point, and that is the final entry from EA into the boxing ring. But Fight Night Champion has been, in my opinion anyway, the staple of boxing games since then up until now. And if you go on YouTube and type in Fight Night Champion, you won't have to scroll too far before you see Fight Night Champion versus and then insert boxing game here, which means that everyone else considers this to be the benchmark of boxing games. So my question is, is Fight Night Champion still as good as I remember it being? Can I pop that in to the console right now and have that 2024 gaming experience? Or is it going to be one of those games that is best left to nostalgia? Well, I am very happy to report that the graphics straight away in this game shocked me a little bit. They are very, very good. There are a few instances where things look a little bit grainy or a little bit off in, in one way or another, but for the most part, these graphics are actually very, very good. Considering this is an Xbox 360, I'm not playing this on an Xbox One X upscaled or anything like that. It is native on the 360 and it looks very, very good. Gameplay is solid. Of course, you have the ability to do everything you can do in a modern boxing game, such as duck, block, bob and weave. There are a whole host of different punches you can throw. The roster of fighters is very, very good. Of course, it's very outdated at this point with absolutely no modern fighters whatsoever, which doesn't bother me personally as I'm not a massive boxing fan, but of course that will annoy the average boxing fan, I'm sure. And that's the advantage that a game like Undisputed will have over Fight Night Champion. Now the online for Fight Night Champion is still going, and that of course is one of the game modes that you can partake in. Now I have only ever fought online once or twice, and that was all the way back in 2010. Fighting other people online for some reason is just not something that I'm that interested in, and I didn't give it a go this time around either, but I do know that the servers are still up and fully functional. You are of course able to jump into an exhibition match against the AI, choose your fighter, you can choose the AI's fighter and the amount of rounds that you want and away you go. There is of course a legacy mode as well which is essentially you create your own fighter and carry him through all the way to be the world heavyweight champion or middleweight champion or whatever weight you decide to choose and that is a very in-depth career mode essentially and that is probably where you'll have most of your fun and, and spend most of your time if you're not playing online that is. But one thing that makes this game stand out above all the rest and I don't think one thing that will be ever rivaled by another boxing game is champion mode. This is a story mode like no other. Now in a sports game you've had it in the past with FIFA trying to to jump into it with the journey. You follow Alex Hunter and his story from being a, a youth player all the way up to a Champions League winner for example and it, it's decent for the most part but you do go a long time playing game after game after game with absolutely no cutscene and it does drop you in and out of the immersion quite quickly but with champion mode in Fight Night Champion, you are never out of that immersion. From the cutscene going into the fight to the commentary, which we'll touch on a little bit more later, it always keeps you immersed. The commentators will talk about what's happening outside of the ring as well as inside. The cutscene will start immediately after the fight and of course it's very gritty. It's almost like watching Lockstock at some points. And they didn't shy away from using language or violence or anything like that in Fight Night Champion's cutscenes, which is something that you just don't see in sports games in general. Of course, sports games are meant to be Peggy 3, access to everyone. Of course, when it comes to UFC and Fight Night and all those sort of fighting games, you would maybe expect uh, a slightly higher Peggy rating because of the violence and the blood. But when it comes to language, it's something that they do tend to stay away from. In Fight Night Champion, it is absolutely on the table. You can They do whatever they want, they say whatever they want. And if you haven't played this game before and didn't know it was coming, you would be shocked to hear it in a sports game. But that's where it really excels for me, the story mode essentially is phenomenal. It only really lasts between three and four hours, which may seem short to some, but of course you do still have those other game modes to keep you occupied. There isn't an alternative ending, there aren't different routes you can choose, which is a shame, but at the same time, it's just a really solid story with some cliche characters here or there, but for the most part anyway, really, really good. Really enjoyed myself this time round. I've probably played that now at least double digits, 10 times. Not gonna lie to you and say that I haven't played this game since 2010. I have played this game 
game a lot over the years. The last time I played through it in its entirety was probably early 2023, just before the release of the latest boxing video game, Undisputed. Now, Undisputed is a very good game. I've played it a fair bit. I wouldn't say I've played it a lot. I've probably put like 20 to 30 hours into it, which isn't as much as most people, I'm sure. But in terms of the visuals, I mean, fantastic, right? I wouldn't say they're undisputed. <laughs> oh dear. But they are very, very good. And the gameplay is pretty solid as well. But the one big thing that I take away from Undisputed versus Fight Night Champion is the fact that we are sat here comparing these two and they are 13 years apart across several different generations. That is just outrageous. I don't think you can say that about any other video game. I don't think there's any other video game ever released that would hold up to a modern video game, not only in gameplay, but in graphics as well. Now, if you put Undisputed and Fight Night Champion side by side, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference between the two, but at first glance, maybe not so much. And that is just testament to how well Fight Night Champion was made. If I had to choose between playing Fight Night Champion or Undisputed, I would absolutely choose Fight Night Champion. Now, the plus point for Undisputed, of course, is that this game is still being worked on. It's still being updated. I'm not sure if this is a full release or it's still in the beta stage. Now, there is supposedly at least a single player being released for Undisputed and that is still being worked on. It is slated for a 2024 release so we may have to revisit that but the most amazing thing here really is that yes Fight Night Champion still holds up today 13 years later and not only does it still hold up and it's still playable it is still the very best boxing game we have available to us. Now the commentary in Fight Night Champion is something that I think goes a little bit under the radar for most people who make these type of videos or even will go back and have a look. I play a lot of one particular EA game and that is FIFA and the commentary grates on you after a while. They use an awful lot of the same lines. Some of them are just not relevant to what's happening on screen but when it comes to fight night there's something just that little bit different. I sat down to play the entire story mode in one sitting and I didn't hear that many repetitions in the commentary. There were a few of course because uh, Andre Bishop apparently uh, has to throw combinations to win a fight and that is a line that you'll hear a lot. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. But apart from that, there aren't that many lines repeated. And the fact that an awful lot of the commentary in the single player mode anyway, relates to what is happening in the ring and uh, actions out of the ring is just astonishing. This is a 2010 game and the commentary is better in this than it is in games these days. They will discuss things such as other fighters and what they've been doing and then your fighter and what he's been doing in preparation for the fight. If there's been any incident off screen, such as one incident where you are released from prison. And they will talk about that at length as well. It's not just a, a passing comment. They will have a full on discussion about you coming out of prison, and having to try and prove yourself. What they would be doing commentating on a fight down in Mexico, I don't know, but we can overlook certain things. There has to be a negative about the game and there are a few, but my biggest gripe really was the referee. I've never noticed this before and I don't know whether my game was bugged for some reason, but I don't know how it would be bugged across several fights but the referee kept getting in the way. You have a pretty close camera and maybe for some of the gameplay that you've seen, you will see that I'm quite tight to the fighters. But later on in other clips, you'll see that I've had to zoom out and that's because the referee kept blocking my view. I couldn't see what punches I was throwing, couldn't see what was landing. I couldn't see what my opponent was doing in terms of whether he was blocking or ducking or whatever it may be. So I had to zoom out the camera almost as much as I could so I could see over the referee and that wouldn't be a problem anymore. Now I can't ever remember having to do that. In fact, I had to think, can I change the camera? So I'm almost certain I didn't have to do that before. It does sound like a pretty big flaw, but to be fair, it is something you can definitely overlook going forward. It just changed the camera angle and it doesn't really become that much of a problem. Playing this on an Xbox 360 without installing it as well, I might add, I did have a few frame rate issues. There was a little bit of stuttering here or there. A lot of it might actually come down to my disc in fairness. My disc is not in very good condition, so I will need to pick another one up at some point because I don't know how much longer it has left. Could maybe give it a clean but it is very scratched so I'm wondering whether that may have had an impact on some of the stuttering but 
If I was to play this on a Series X, for example, have it installed as well, would this run better? Would it look better? I would have thought so. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one, so I can't test that out. But uh, if you have one and have tried this, let me know in the comments, is it a better experience than that of the 360? All in all, though, if you want to play a boxing game and don't have a PC, Fight Night Champion is absolutely the game you should be playing. If you want to play a boxing game and have a PC, Fight Night Champion is absolutely the game you should be playing. And that's, of course, my personal opinion you're entitled to yours and that is kind of what the comment section's for but not only that let me know why you prefer Undisputed or for that fact any other boxing game that's ever been released maybe you're a Fight Night Round 3 kind of guy for some reason let me know in the comments if you prefer that one it is a bit of a shame that EA didn't go on to, to make further Fight Night games but having said that this is I think the pinnacle of boxing I don't think they would have made it any better had they made a Fight Night Champions for example especially nowadays I don't think they would have put that much focus on the single player they would have tried to monetize uh, in-game transactions and things because that's just the EA way but I don't think they would have put that much time effort and grit into a single player mode and I've mentioned that a lot in this video but I do think that that is a big big selling point of Fight Night Champion and definitely one of the reasons why you should pick it up and I think it's only like five or six quid on the Xbox 360 and of course the PS3 let me know in the comments what game I should look at next in 2024 if you want to check out another video from me you can click the center of the screen and until the next time, goodbye.